Howdy folks, Brett here with another top five. If you do graphic design or you're a photographer and don't want to pay the high cost of Adobe Photoshop, that adds up over time. I'll show you in this countdown five of the best free alternatives to Photoshop to create and edit images like a pro. And we have a new number one pick for all of you to check out. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five is Paint.net. Its initial release was in 2004 as a more advanced alternative of Microsoft Paint, and back in 2022 was a winner of the Microsoft Store App Awards. It has evolved quite a bit over the years and now includes blending and layer support, automatic filters, and external plugins created from the community that can be added to expand its capability. The user interface is also better looking than it used to be and now has a dark theme built in. Most of the tools you would ever need are located in the toolbar on the left. In the menu bar here at the top, you'll find additional tools and features, including effects to transform your image. Paint.net is only available for Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can get it from the developer's website for completely free with the option to donate. Or if you prefer, you can get it from the Microsoft Store for a minimal cost with the proceeds supporting the development of Paint.net. Taking the number four spot is Krita. This free and open source program in recent years has improved quite a bit. It has a ton of features and is a top choice for artists that are into digital painting. In addition to the standard editing tools, its large amount of brush customizations and painter's palette have made this program popular with people that do creative image design. It has a great looking layout with the primary tools along the left. On the right side of the image is the advanced color selector. Below that are your layers and a good amount of brush presets. To bring up the handy pop-up palette in the left, select the freehand brush tool. Then inside your image, right click. In the upper left of the palette are your foreground and background colors. The color selector is located in the middle, and the outer ring has quick access buttons to your brush presets. Once you get familiar with the pop-up palette, it does speed up the workflow quite a bit. If you want to learn how to use Krita, check out the manual on their site, which includes tutorials and a getting started guide. Krita is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Coming in at number three, is GIMP. A longtime favorite of ours, this powerful free and open source photo editing software can do just about anything Photoshop can with zero cost, but for new users, it will be challenging in learning how to use it properly in the beginning. It includes advanced filters and effects, the ability to work with layers, color adjustments, transformations, and is compatible with most image file formats, including support for Photoshop's PSD files. GIMP's layout has been described by many people as being clunky, especially from those that have been longtime users of Photoshop. There's a large set of tools located in the toolbox on the left. Over on the right is where you can find the layers and brushes. I personally prefer the floating windows layout. If you don't and you want a more traditional one window layout, in the menu bar, select windows and tick the box next to single window mode. And to switch it back, just go back into Windows again and untick the box. GIMP is still my go-to image editor when creating thumbnails for videos on this channel. Once you get the hang of it, GIMP is really easy to use. If you've never used GIMP, do check out their numerous tutorials located on their site. It's available to download for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Before we get to our top two in this countdown, I'll quickly let you know about some bonus picks that might be worth your time to check out. This first one is great for beginners. For quick and easy tweaks to your photos, Adobe does offer a free program for Windows called Adobe Express Photos, which used to be known as Photoshop Express. On both Android and iOS, it's still available from the respective app stores as Photoshop Express. Some of you may remember Pixlr Editor. With it being phased out a few years ago due to security concerns with Flash, Pixlr Express is their new free online photo editor with the basic tools included to quickly edit your photos within your favorite web browser. 
in the runner-up spot. Coming in at number two is Photopea. Some people mispronounce it as Photopea, but the developer says it's actually pronounced Photopea. This online image editor is a web app, so it runs in any major browser without the need to download and install any software. It supports almost any image file type, including raw images and Photoshop project files. Of all the photo editors mentioned in this video, the layout of Photopea most closely resembles Photoshop, with the tools along the left and the layers window here on the right. Let's go to File here in the menu bar. This is where you can save your project as a PSD and export individual images as a PNG, JPEG, and many others. If you click on Learn here in the upper right, it will open a new tab with tutorials that will teach you how to use Photopea. While Photopea is free and is the best alternative that most closely resembles Photoshop, it is ad-supported. To remove the ads and get additional steps in your history, they do have plans that start at $5 per month. In the top spot, coming in at number one, Affinity is the best free alternative to Photoshop and other Adobe software. Affinity, as I've mentioned in the past, was the best paid for alternative to Adobe's programs for photo editing, vector design, and page layout. Since being acquired by Canva, it's now free. They've now combined all three of their programs into an all-in-one program with a ton of customization options to make it your own. It also has 100% compatibility with Adobe's file types, including PSD files. It has a fantastic layout. Selecting Vector here in the upper left will be your Adobe Illustrator alternative for graphic design. It has all the tools for vector design and illustration. Selecting Pixel will be your alternative to programs like Photoshop and GIMP. It includes tons of tools for professional image editing and also has retouching tools. And if you select Layout, this will be your alternative to Adobe InDesign for creating documents like magazines, posters, books, and brochures. Those three I just mentioned are the ones that you used to have to pay for with Affinity that are now completely free. All of the primary tools for all three of them are located on the left, with additional tools here on the right, including a color picker. What is not free to the right of layout is their Canva AI. To use the Canva AI, it requires a premium account starting at $15 per month. Affinity is available to install for both Windows and Mac OS. And on their site, it says iPad coming soon. Actually, at the end of last year, for those of you that own an iPad, they've now made all three of their apps available for free from the App Store. Of course, you'll still have to pay extra for the AI features. The names of those apps include Affinity Designer 2, Affinity Photo 2, and the third one is called Affinity Publisher 2. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of another Photoshop alternative we should consider, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives here on Brett in Tech.